Hello guys and welcome to Hardland. This is an open world action adventure game um, RPG with procedurally generated worlds and not really procedurally generated enemies, just randomised enemies. Um, right now this is very very early on. It's in early access but like early early access as in it's not even on early access yet but it will be soon so there'll be a link to their steam green light page um right now i of course i can't actually put in a link to their early access page because well there isn't but this is early access but yeah so um what do you do in this game well you're this little dude here um in the game now, not... well, let me explain it first. There is... Hardland, the game, and then there are uh, extra scenarios with uh, things in which will then be parts of the game of Hardland eventually, but ha haven't actually been put into it yet. So I I'll show you a few of them later, like you turn you end up being like a uh, chicken and stuff like that so these are just random npcs to all towns and stuff are uh procedurally generated these guy is a bit different shaped to me but okay uh these do have quests these are very simple questing mechanic where you just press f okay he wants mushroom exotic drink i can then go get a, mush a couple of mushrooms and an exotic drink, come back to him and it'll say press F, complete quest, and then he may give me something or not. Now, some NPCs will actually be able to trade with you. Uh, stone fire, ooh. Right now, I don't actually believe there is, well, there's gold, but you can't use it. I uh, don't care about that. Let's equip our stone fire if we can. Do I have to get rid of these? Doesn't seem like we can actually equip everything in the game yet. Uh, equip that and equip our shield. So, that's the questing. Now, there isn't just humans, there are goblins, skeletons, and I think there's going to be like. Well, in concept art, there was a. Um, well, there's factions. Humans, skeletons, goblins, animals, like chickens have their own actual faction. There's also one which was, a, in the concept art, it was a fat, I think it said fant faction, which is an elephant um, faction. There was, I believe, a cow faction, or oh, treasure chest. And there's a chest inside of a chest, of course. That's one thing I like about this, is I has chests inside chests. Don't know why I like it. Um, to be, right now, to be part of a faction, all you need to do is get a faction, uh, hat. Like, right now, I have human male faction. Apparently I can take off, I didn't know I could do that. Oh well. Um, if I got a goblin mask, I can just put the goblin mask there, and then I'll have a, well, goblin mask. And then the goblins won't actually attack me. And I'll be able to complete their quests if I want to. There is stuff like pig masks, I think, have I started? Yeah, there we go, pig mask. And now pigs should follow me. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure if they're going to actually do anything with this, like perhaps actually having um, a pig race, like a, a pig human, humanoid race, perhaps they will, I'm not really sure. Um, now, right now, now, I don't believe factions, like, if I'm wearing a goblin mask, I don't think the humans actually care. It's only the goblins which, I, which will actually care. Uh, let's see. Gold coins. We've got gold coins. Or apparently not. Um, gold coins again. Trying to find a good quest. Ah, here's a goblin. I wonder if he'll be able to drop a uh, goblin mask. Now you can find them in a the world and I'm not sure if they can drop them or not. There's a goblin axe, don't want that. Who cares about a goblin axe? 
Um, let's try and find some more goblins. Are the pigs still following me? No, they're not. Okay. Ah, there's a goblin king right there. Now, I don't know if I said this, but you can pick everything up. No matter what it is, you can pick it up. There we go, I've just picked up the Goblin King. He isn't going to attack me whilst I've got hold of him. One thing I really don't want to end up in a game because it kind of takes away from the actual game that you'll just pick everything up. One thing which is good about the game so far is like really nice thing, just a little detail, is if you look in the distance, things are like coming up and down. That's instead of like, you know, other games will have like pop in where it loads and then it, well, pops in. This game actually has it so it like raises out of the ground. Very small thing, but it's actually very nice to actually see because it, it makes it feel more like a game. Was that just water on the ground? No, snow, okay. So, there are random houses like this one here, which will have. I believe it's just like a man and a woman around. Okay, perhaps not. Unless they've been killed. Um, I've only seen like... There's a few houses which will do which do spawn around it. But I've only seen one with actual people in it. And it's just... Um, uh, get some coconuts and get some apples. And they're very easy. You know, one thing about it... you. They say that you can, if you want, you can just go around killing people and if you want to be evil, so you can go around killing people no matter what. Only problem is, right now, is that, well, say I do the coconut one. Here you go, guy. Here's eight coconuts. Thank you for the extra item. Now I'm going to kill you and get all of my things back. Let's pick up these apples. Um... And then what will happen is I, I've just killed him and that's it. There's, there's no real consequence at the moment. I do hope they do add some kind of guard system in so if I attack them as a human, they'll, well, start to hate me as a faction. And also, which I'm really guessing they will end up adding, is just say, like, if I'm wearing a goblin mask, I can't go into a... A town, a human town, and not be attacked. I'm trying to find. I haven't come across it yet, but there is like a skeleton graveyard thing. I've only seen one kind of graveyard, and that's where zombies spawn. I'm trying to come across. Oh, here we go. Here's. Yeah, I think these are the ones who want. She wants apples, I believe, and I can just pick her up. Yep, 10 apples, and he wants coconuts. But if I wanted to, I can just kill them and they won't fight back. These people won't. Some will. Like, if I kill a thief or... or I don't think there are guards in the game yet. But if I kill a thief uh, or a... What is it called? A... Not mercenary. A... Shop guy. Merchant. There we go. He will actually attack me. Um, there's wizards as well. One thing I like about this game as well is the clouds. I don't know what it is about the clouds, but they seem really kind of cool. They also like shrink the further you go away from them. Uh, right now, it, I'm not sure if they are going to change this. I'm guessing they will, but it is currently um, just a, a set size world. If you've seen just then, the screen just got incredibly dark. Now what that is, is um, it going from day to night, it does have a, a daytime cycle, um, it just seems weird though how it goes incredibly dark and then to light again where the moon comes out. Uh, I think I'm just going to like restart the level, it starts me in, I believe it's like the same town, perhaps, uh, perhaps it's actually different. Oh, here's another thing as well. When you first get up, you can't move except you can jump. But let's try and find a... Uh, where is he? A merchant or a wizard. 
I'd like to find a mer merchant first. Now these are very easy to spot. There's a merchant because these are much larger than the rest. Oh, and there's a wizard behind us. Now, if I attack him, he will attack me with his... I need to try and not die. Oh, and I died anyway. What I was hoping to do is get his blunderbuss. So then I could show you what happens if I attack a wizard. Because they're much more stronger. Like, every time I've attacked a wizard so far, they just kind of like kill themselves <laughs> in the process. And end up killing me as well. Kind of funny. Any... The wizard was over here last time. What if he, there he is. Let's see if we can make him blow himself up. Now, that was actually the first time I've seen a merchant blow himself up. Oh, oh! Have I, I've actually survived for once. Oh, that's awesome. Here's something else as well. Is You may have not noticed, but this has actually got lower now. Now, what happens is you can actually um, destroy the land. But you need some kind of explosive, so like a um, gun, uh, gunpowder barrel. If you attack it, then it will then explode the land. I wonder if I can buy any from this guy. Let's see. Uh, would be nice if I could equip the cannon. I can't equip the cannon yet. Uh, anything? Any kind of explosive? No, not yet. Damn. In fact, let's see what we've got. Magic book. Can't equip the magic book yet, which is, a, which is sad. Uh, there we go. I've got a giant hat on because you know. <laughs> hmm. Well, you just seen it with a house and a pop in thing. Pop that one pops in a little bit too fast, but yeah. But right now, it the generation of the world doesn't really feel like a game to me. Well, of course, it, it is very early on, but it's something that you need to focus on is um, the generation, because right now, it doesn't feel like a game. It just kind of feels like they've just chucked stuff at a wall and it's see what sticks, really, with the generation. Because, um, yeah. Oh, I, my legs just kind of... Teleport. Didn't notice that before. Let's try and get this guy to kill us. In fact, is that a barrel? No, that's just normal barrel. Damn it. I was hoping that was going to be... Explosive. In fact, yes. There we go. He exploded the ground. Let's try and kite him around again to attack us. There we go. Explosions. See? I don't think it's actually anything lower. I think it is just like... That is it so far, so there's no real need to actually dig down yet, but who knows, perhaps it'll add something in the future. Let's try and kill him and see if he'll give us anything good. Wizard's heart? And yeah. Oh, is that... Yep, gunpowder. Well, I guess I don't really need to show you the whole explosion thing now since I've already, well, shown you it. There we go. Set it off. And boom. But I'm gonna come back in a second and I'll show you like the the um extra the other scenarios with the other game features in, so I'll be back in a second. Hello guys and welcome back. So as you can see I'm a chicken. This isn't put in a game yet though. The whole story about this is that actually meant to be like, oh you well you you kind of annoyed a wizard and that's meant to be the wizard there. So this guy, he's currently so strong but I can't kill him. So I need to lure him into a trap, which is right here. If we can get over it. Come on. As you can see, not all of the game is finished. Like, well, is he gonna... There we go. Yep, stand in there. Stand right there and kill yourself. How's your health doing? Come on. Now, one thing they've wanted to make this game is... Well, what really wanted to add to the game is mod support. Now, apparently it's very easy to mod this game. Like, they've actually taken, like, a Harrier jet and put it in the game. 
like apparently it is just basically a, a JSON file and yeah. So if you want to te see if you can mod the game, you can. The apparently is very easy. I haven't tried it yet myself. I can't pick up this guy because of course I'm a chicken. Can keep bouncing it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's. Yay! Okay, that's quite funny. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can go underneath a chair. Yep. Ah, oh, it kicks me out. Anyway, so in the trailer, I think it was a trailer. It's either the game trailer or the green light trailer. They actually show you like being a butterfly and um. You uh, like flying through trees, and that can. I'm not sure if they're going to actually make you be a butterfly in the final game, but I guess it could actually end up being a quest. Like, you have to, I don't know, fly into a goblin base or something. Not quite sure about that. Wow, that guy is just kind of like killing himself. Anyway, I will. No, the reason I can't, like, just. I have to stop recording and go into it is because right now you can't load another scenario without restarting the game so I'll load another scenario now and not sure what one it'll either be combat or something so here is the whole faction thing in the process so yeah, let's pick up a chicken mask put on a chicken mask come on chickens and now they should all start following me. There we go. Some reason they... They do start attacking each other. So, like, when they peck, some reason it like actually does... It damages either themselves or others. So here's a goblin mask. Whoops, not you. Go away, you. Don't care about you, chickens. Pick up a goblin mask and we'll also pick up the zombie mask. Goblin mask, of course, it does exactly the same. Let's see if we can jump over it. No, we can't. Let's go over here. Hello, little goblin. There we go. He doesn't attack me. I attack him. If that one a goblin will attack me, I don't think the other goblins will, though. I think those goblins just stay stood still. Um. Oh, no. Apparently they do, okay. Oh. Currently, it's only the Goblin King which you can, like, do quests for. For, um... It, these little goblins, you can't. Also, I really like the Goblin King's attack, is it? He just chucks, um, ham at you. Kind of funny. One thing... One of the models which I don't like much is the ghoul. It just looks really odd. It looks like a zombie uh, gorilla or something like it looks too wide and its head is too large I know there's like the merchant who's like two to three times the size of me but the ghoul I I don't know what it is exactly about the ghoul I don't like but I don't know it, it just kind of stands out not in a good way also, zombies will, will follow me, so if I wanted to kill the Goblin King, I can get all of these guys to follow me. If he actually comes out of the cage. There you go. And you should be able to just jump straight in. Come on, you're going to come in? Come on, zombies. Or am I going to have to take him out? One good thing about having um that... It being able to pick stuff up is that you can pick stuff up of course in a final game I don't want that to happen. Let's put our human male back on and run away Are they gonna attack him? The Goblin King seems to be very very strong Like I think he can actually kill me in one hit if If I just stand next to him, he'll eat me like let's see if he'll eat me. There we go one hit kill but you can get, like, you probably would have seen it over there where the goblin dropped a goblin axe. 
I could use that on him. Don't think I'll actually do any more damage to him. But there is stuff like um, a ice mace and well, ice hammer, I think, which does a lot of damage. Uh, let's pick up this and open that box. See what's in it. And walk around. And done. What's in here? Skeletons. Of course. Now, I'm not sure if these actually spawn in the... In hard la uh, Hardland yet is, like, the monster chests. Not quite sure yet. Uh, let's, let's chuck a few of these guys outside of a cage since they have a bit of a hard time going out. They sh should start chasing like the chickens and people and stuff. What? Okay then. Didn't expect him to start attacking me, but okay. But yeah, th this is Hardlands so far. Does have pretty nice visuals so far. Um, it's all beat me. Future generation, well, it's pretty good. Not the best, still needs to be improved. Um, yeah. Uh, the inventory system is a bit weird. Um, well, you can't open the map or quests here yet. You can open the map. It kind of just looks like that so far. Um, what else? Not all items can be used yet, but uh, it's still early. Let's kill these chickens whilst we're here. Um, there'll be a link to their website and the green light page if you want to check it out. It's not at the current uh, uh, recording, current time of recording. It isn't actually on. Uh, Steam early access yet, but it will be soon if you want to check it out. There'll be probably an update on their green light page. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye!